Hey gearheads, thanks for tuning in. Look at all this stuff. This is everything my dad has gotten from every junkyard visit ever. Let's see what's new. Hey Dan, run that intro. Well guys, we're back here at Young's. I'm still looking for wiring for this darn backup camera. And honestly, it's just a nice drive. I talked to some friends on the phone, got a nice drive home. I don't even know what I'm about to find, but we're gonna go inside, we'll take a look and see what we can see. All right guys, so we're back at my favorite yard uh, here at Young's Auto in Dudley, North Carolina. And now that I know a little bit more about what I need, I'm hoping we can find it. So, let's see what's around. So right away, see we got a Yukon. This looks like an older one. They have a bunch of 2007s laying around, but we got to find them. So we'll just kind of walk around and see what we can get into. This looks like the right model. Let's see what's up front. This does not seem to have the right module. That's for the reverse sensors. Maybe this is 7571. I should probably have my gloves on, shouldn't I? So yeah, this is for the camera. So this does have the wiring. Let's see if there's a radio plug we can use. All right, I found my glove. Here is a piece that's in my way. Here. There we go. So we do want to be careful here because we got a busted windshield. windshield in my way. Why wouldn't it? Alright, so here's all the radio plugs. Or, here's all the radio plugs. Up here. Uh, on this out of the way. Let me see if I can get my cutters. Alright, I think that's all these wires. Here. So I'm honestly not sure which one of these wires is correct uh, or which one of these plugs is correct and there's some more over here down here so I think what I'm going to do is just cut off as much wiring as I can I'm just going to take all these plugs home and hopefully I only need one for the camera so I think we'll be good I'll just take them all so this is some of the fun stuff that goes on in a salvage yard Has this guy got the best job or what? Woo, doggy. Y'all's job is not this fun, much fun. You need to get a job here. So guys, if you recall, this GPS antenna on the other car, on the Cadillac, had, uh, I pulled the wire out, but it did not have the plug. Well, guess what? This one has the plug, so now maybe we can have the GPS hooked up, which would be pretty cool. So we'll take that too. All right, I'd say that was a pretty good beginning score from this one. I think we basically have what we need, but we're going to look around at some of these other trucks and see if there's something else we can use. There's lots of good stuff in uh, pickup truck beds around here, too. If you need something you didn't think you needed, here it is. Cool classic alert. How about a 1985 Dodge Ram Power Ram Ram Charger? This thing is pretty cool looking. Looks like the one Scott had. What do you think, Scott? Want to come out here and pick this up? It's 
It's even got an engine in it already. <clears throat> Not much left to the dash, but it does have the seats in it. Classic. You know, sometimes you can find everything you need here in the salvage yard, and uh, sometimes you're just a little too late. Well, I found a Tahoe. Looks like it flipped over. The roof is pretty crushed in. Let's see if it's got anything. Well, seats are gone, radio's gone. Got the plugs. I might grab those plugs just to have. Let's see if it's got any uh, modules over there. I see one down there, but that's not what I need. Let's see if we can get over there without hurting ourselves. Of course, the gate is gone, so I can't see if it even had a camera and the radio. I can check the wiring, maybe. Bringing some of this stuff out. We can see if it's got anything we can use. Some, like somebody else has already come and taken all the modules. So, nothing here for us, except those wires. I think I might take those wires too. You never know, those other wires I have could be wrong. So, we'll grab those. All right, so we do have these wires here. I think these are for the radio. Or, well these are definitely not. There might be these guys over here. That looks like it's got the extra, oh, that's the, the antenna. So I think it might be these. So I'm gonna grab these also, just to have. You never know. This is the last truck I'm gonna hit. I found uh, a 1724 module, so I'm gonna grab that. It's also got the uh, Bosch module. That's for the backup sensors, easy to get. I may be able to sell it, make some money. So um, I think I may have lost a pair of pliers while I was here, but I have a lot of stuff in my tool pouch, so maybe I'll find them later. Well, that was another fun trip at the recycling center. I really do enjoy going there. I get to talk to that guy about the cars. I don't know if anybody bought any of those cars, but there's some pretty cool stuff there. So let's take a look and see what we have to add to our collection. So as I stated to start out with, there's a lot of these plugs that go into the radio. I think they're all the same. So I guess we just got to find which one I need that actually plugs in. I guess these go like this. Um, so we can use whichever one we need. I think this is the ground. So this may be the one that has the uh, backup camera stuff in it. So that'll be fine. Then of course we've got some of these other plugs. Uh, this looks like another radio plug. So maybe this one will work as well. No, it doesn't. So I don't know what this is. Uh, it looks like this one. So these are probably for the other controls and stuff. So maybe we'll need these for something. Maybe we won't. Looks like this one fits on the end. So in case we need that one. I don't know. Some of them may have different uh, wires. This one looks like it's camera wires too, so that may be the one we need. I'll just have to look at a pinout of this and figure out if I need this plug or that plug, and then I'll just wire it on. Now, even though that was all I really believe I needed was the plug for the radio, the wires definitely do go through the entire harness, so I think I'm just going to get like an RCA cable and use that to go from the front to the back. I think that's probably the best way. It's going to have the uh, shielding on it, so the video won't be adjusted by, you know, noise or sound or anything like that. So it should be pretty good quality video, I'm thinking. I'll maybe just cut the ends off it where the plugs go, and I'll be able to wire it directly into the radio and directly to the back where that, um, that piece is that the wires go to. So we'll see on that. Other things I picked up, just in case I need, I did find, um, like I said, these two uh, satellite GPS uh, antennas. So these are going to plug directly into the back of the radio. I did get two different ones. I believe they're two different years. So not sure exactly which one will work or which one I'm going to need, but 
If uh, I can get the GPS working on the radio, that's kind of a bonus. I'll probably need a DVD or a CD or something like that. Other things I picked up just in case, I got another module here, the 1724. So just in case one of the ones we have doesn't work, we have a backup. If they do work, once the system's all set, I can maybe sell this to somebody who needs one. Uh, backup, sensors, this is for the bumper. And I'm not sure what this is, but it was in the same area and I, I was able to get it off, so I took that. This is the plug that goes on the back of the uh, truck where the other plug that comes off of the tailgate is. So I may need one or the other of these plugs in order for those wires to come through. So I just thought it's easy to have a plug just in case in the future somebody needs to disconnect this thing, they can unplug it. And then of course, I did find another camera. So we got another camera here. We can of course grind this down like we did on the other one and use that just in case the camera doesn't work. It is broken a little bit, but it's still a camera. You can actually take this square piece out of this mount. So that could be something useful too. It's just two screws there and this square camera will come off. So. Again, if I don't need this, I might be able to sell it and help somebody else out with a lot lower cost item than OE. And of course, we got another one of these. The whole panel has the camera, the lights, the button, and all the wires. I was able to unplug it, so we got the whole harness and everything here. Again, not that I think I need this, and this one's a little eaten up, but it does have the wiring. It's got another camera. It's got lights. So other things that we may need if we don't, maybe we can sell it and help somebody else out. So out of all our visits to the yard, I say we got a lot of stuff. So like I said, hopefully I have enough to get this system working. Whatever I have that I don't need, we can go ahead and sell and maybe help some other people out as well. Plus we're making money for the yard, so their recycling helps us keep these uh, older car parts on the road to try and help out people that have newer cars that need older parts and don't have to buy them at the dealership. So that's it for this episode. I thank you for watching. Stay positive, keep on wrenching. Comment down below. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more about Chevelle's. And I'll see you on the next one.